Educators across the SEDSB are continuing to provide incredible virtual lessons for their students. Let's take a closer look at some of these truly amazing examples. Mrs. Morrow, a kindergarten teacher at W.C. Little Elementary School, has been sharing innovative resources and tips with fellow educators to support virtual learning. Let's take a look inside one of her virtual lessons. We are going to decide what do we need to share with our pen pals. They don't know anything about us yet. Okay, and then what do we wonder about them? So what kind of questions can we ask? And we'll see what we come up with. Sakina, what do you, what's your first thought, sweetheart? We can say our name. But for sure, you need to tell them your name. What's your favorite plant? Your, your oh, plant? Good one. How do we continue to make those great personal connections with our students, even though we're not in the same room? And that's why I decided to start my own YouTube channel, The Mr. Sad Show. Think of it as a combination of all school subjects kind of rolled into one. It's got a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of exercise, and a lot of education. Mrs. Fonda, a music teacher at Harriet Todd Public School, has been creating engaging music lessons for her students. She has built her very own music website that contains a wide variety of resources for virtual learning. We are excited to take a sneak peek inside her grade one, two music class today. Hi there, my name is Jasmine Sponda. Distance learning has posed new challenges for learning music, but I think any challenge can really be met with some creativity and some innovations. This is a lesson that I did with my grade one, two split. We move into our rhythm game, listening to the sounds and trying to differentiate which one it is. If you think it's the top, the middle, or the bottom, Cha, cha, Sawyer, which one is that? Cha. Let's see if you are correct. Amazing. And have been receiving lots of positive feedback from Scudsby students and families. Let's take a closer look. A Scudsby community member shares, Love that our teacher is keeping up with everyday mental health practices virtually. So many people doing so much to support our children. I am so amazed and thankful for the educators in my kids' lives. They have adapted to this new mode of teaching with so much professionalism. 